Hey guys, my name is Sarah. This is Green Lady Urban Farm and I'm losing the sun over here. So I decided I should start this video and get you guys an idea of what I'm working on with the colony right now. This video is going to take a couple of days. Um, so we're going to go over all the steps that I'm doing. But first right now I'm making a new nest box. Um, so let me show you that. Okay, I have six totes and um, I have been drilling holes into the totes. Hello. Um, and I have these. Now, keep in mind, I have had these for a very long time. They're dirty. Um, but these are the eight inch drainage, uh, corrugated drainage pipes. I can't find these anymore. I've had these for about four years and I'm having a hard time finding them. I used to be able to buy them. Um, I think it was Lowe's maybe it was Home Depot, um, but I used to be able to buy them for a 10 foot um, length for $20 and um, I can't find them anymore and it's really annoying. I actually found them at one place and they wanted like, it was like um, like 30 feet or something for like 200 something dollars. It's like, uh, no. So I'm hoping I can find this again soon because that eight inch round is great for the rabbits. Um, otherwise, you can use any kind of tubing well, that's like 8 inch, at least for large rabbits. I wouldn't go any smaller than 8 inch for large rabbits. Some people can get away with 6 inch if their rabbits are a little bit smaller than normal. I'm going to show you what I use to make these holes. It's made a lot easier than and neater, as you can see, than a lot of tools. Okay, so this is the tool I use. This is the drill bit that goes into the center of this and it comes out when you drill the holes out um and i always have to cut it out because it's just plastic it's made for more of like a wood type thing um but it always comes out with this here so and i put that back in that center piece there and drill it <laughs> it's on high drill right now, can you tell? Um, so it's got some kick. And then that would go in there and then we take these off. I've done four already. And um, yeah, so I'm going to now cut this here in half for uh, the two more tubs I have. I'm just gonna use a saw to do it. Um, hacksaw usually works pretty well, but my blade's really short, so I'm going to actually use this. So, let me do that. Okay, so I got this cut. Um, I just used string to find the center, um, of it, but it wasn't quite center, so whatever. Um, the main trick is, if, if you're going to use the corrugated, you can't have it be even across, like, one... Um, corrugation it has to bite down a little so you can almost put it in like a screw so let me show you that There's a little blip here. There we go. Okay, see, it takes a little work, but it's worth it because it doesn't come out. Okay, so I've got one more to do.
Okay, so this is the way I'm setting it up. And it's gonna go in the colony like this. So I will get back to you guys tomorrow because I'm running out of sun. And this is gonna be a couple day project, like I said. I've already been working a little bit. Then I realized I need to film this some. And Merlin's being a terror. Okay. So, it is the day before Christmas Eve. So, December 23rd. And it got really cold last night. I think it hit like 12. So, that's, you know, more like normal than it has been. But I'm working. Ah getting caught on the wire. Um, I'm working over here in the rabbit colony setting up those new uh, rabbit nests that I've been talking about on my Facebook page and uh, oh, well, let me just get to it. Merlin, what you doing? Good boy. Okay. Don't get stepped on, silly. They ate a bunch of San Juan this morning. Uh, They're all confused about what's going on. So, um, I had to pull the shade cloth down so I could work over here, but I'll put it back up in a little bit. Um, I had to rake back all the deep litter, which is good because now I have a bunch of stuff I can bury it with. Um, but this, this is going to be my new nest box area, so we'll have... Merlin, <coughs> stop. Stop it, Brett. So we'll have the one in the ground over there, the one in the ground over there, one there, one there and that. There's little kits running around right now. Sorry about my shadow. Ah. Chipping over sticks. Uh, this is from that peach tree. They debarked it. Okay, and that one will come out over there. I'm not gonna keep that one in here, I don't think. But there's one. There's kits in it right now, so I have to leave it in there for now. Anyway, I need to get this buried. And so, if we have that one, that's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight hides in here. And they're already checking it out. Huh. They're like, yay, more hides. Um, that, that one still hasn't come out yet. I keep saying I'm going to pull her and I don't. Uh, but the littles are cute. Anyway, okay, back to work. Here, I'm just going to go through and shove all that deep litter in between the totes for insulation and stability. I've also placed some of the cement blocks underneath 
the deep litter that I'm piling up in between the tubes for stability as well. I'm going to explore a little bit. I still have a couple more things to do, but I find it's good to let them kind of look around as things are going so they understand what the changes are. Now I'm adding straw into the nest box. Uh, to make them more inviting and to kind of give them the idea of what they're supposed to be used for. I probably could have worn a mask here because it got pretty dusty and I did get a little bit of a um, hay fever headache kind of thing. Um, but eh, it is part of what, you know, it is to work <laughs> with deep litter and animals. you got to deal with straw and hay. I like to bring this up as much as possible in my videos about my colony rabbits. The way I keep my colony isn't going to be good for everyone. I don't have a ton of aerial predators, but the ones I do have, I deter with all of these um, uh, wind spinners in the background, all of the logs and ramps that they have. It breaks up the line of sight and makes it so Aerial predators can't swoop in and grab the rabbits and swoop out, which is the way they like to hunt. We are also in a desert. We have only gotten about five inches of rain in the last few years. Our drinking water comes from snow melt up in the mountains that fills the um, underground reservoirs we have, so it's not something we have to worry about. Uh, with the ground flooding. If you have to worry about lots of rain, you'd want to cover your colony. Oh goodness, okay. So it is Christmas morning and we actually got some snow last night. I didn't want to film this until they had had a chance to play around in it and see what it was looking like, see if they dug it out or anything. And it doesn't look like they have. I plan on building it up some more. Hey guys. How we doing? Huh? <laughs> like, what is this? I hate the snow. Do their water here in a minute. Hi, what you doing, Harley? Huh? Well, let's see what we got here. Okay, so the way I ended up doing it, I had to put the um, shade cloth back up, which is nice that I did, so it's not completely covered in snow. Um, so I faced two of them this way instead of going like originally planned, um, where one was pointing in each direction. Um, so there's two pointing this way, one pointing that way, and one pointing that way. There is none pointing that way. And that's because these, this hide here, and that one over there, I didn't want them to get blocked or to have competition for them right here. So there's that one. And... Then I just lift this up. I only have this on it for now. I think I'm gonna want some other, something else for it, but it's just a piece of old roofing from an old coop I had. Kind of like one of those things, but much bigger. And yeah, I think I'm happy the way it turned out. There's the other entrance. And so you've got those rocks and stuff helping hold it all in, also helping insulate it. So, so I'm happy with it. I like the way this is looking. I think it'll work well. I'm going to let it build up a little bit more on the dirt. It's going to compact a little for a while. But that's good because remember those holes that I put up at the top there? Those do have some air exchangeability and there's not going to just get a bunch of humidity stuck in there. And that's the point of those holes. So that's it. Um, 
everything's looking great out here. It's like I said, a little snowy. It's the first snow of the year and it's on Christmas. So that's interesting. Um, and it's just not that much. It's just like a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. Um, and so I'm just going to get the animals taken care of and I'll yak at you guys later. Bye.